What's good, YouTube? Fan Bass back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining Superior Spider Man and my summary of his origin. And if you like what I say, make sure you leave a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to be doing more of these videos and making a series out of the different versions of Spider Man. And let's get on with the video. Alright, so this takes place after the ends of the Earth arc, on which I did a video uh, like a couple days ago, which I'll leave a link down below if you want to see it. But anyways, in the story, Doc Ock has taken Peter Parker's body while Peter was switched into Doc Ock's dying body. Doc Ock has been posing as Spider-Man, but he was a more serious and dangerous Spider-Man unlike the original. To sum up on how Doc Ock would be called Superior Spider-Man, Peter Parker tried to get his body back, but since he was in Doc Ock's dying body, he was too weak to continue to fight with Doc Ock for to get his body back, and he eventually died. Sad face. After Peter dies, Doc Ock promised himself that he would be a better Spider-Man than Peter ever was, and he would become the Superior Spider-Man since... He has all of Peter's memories that influences him too. Since Peter died, Doc Ock starts to prove himself that he is a better Spider-Man by breaking up with Mary Jane, brutally beating and killing criminals so they won't leave prison anytime soon, and has made a company worth billions called Parker Industries. This is kind of hypocritical in my opinion, but he dates a girl called Anne Maria, <laughs> even though he just d broke up with Mary Jane and become a better Spider-Man, but whatever. And he works with her in Parker Industries. Doc Ock's first spider suit looked like the classic suit, but the blue part was uh, was black. Later on, Doc Ock would make a suit you see in the video right now. As the Superior Spider-Man series goes on, Norman Osborn will have a secret goblin nation ready for to terrorize New York. Near the end of the series, Norman Osborn and his goblin army attacked New York and overwhelmed Doc Ock. As they blew up his base and most of the things that he's built, it really overwhelmed Doc Ock. But anyways... As his last resort, Doc Ock will give Peter Parker his body back since his spirit was still wandering and sharing mind with Doc Ock. And Doc Ock will fade away from Peter's mind since Peter Parker was back. And since the original Spider-Man was back, he defeated Norman Osborn and the series concludes with Peter Parker officially back as Spider-Man. In the present time, Doc Ock is alive and well in his new body and costume. And I can tell you that he, f that he appeared in a Marvel event called Secret Wars. On which is a good read and a good story, and I suggest you read it. Alright. And keep in mind, this is my summary of the series, and I suggest you guys read the series as this is one of my favorite Spider Man stories in version of Spider Man ever. <laughs> Alright. In my opinion, his greatest achievements was that he built a company that Peter Parker should have built a, a while ago with his, with his mind. But, anyways, another one, <laughs> he punched Black Cat without hesitation, on which that, that totally shocked Black Cat and pissed her off. But then again, he didn't. She didn't know that uh, that Peter Parker and Doc Ock switched bodies. All right, and he was the leader of his own Spidey Squad in Spider Verse, on which I would suggest you read Spider Verse too. On which that's a good story, and uh, and Superior Spider Man, and Amazing Spider Man actually fought. All right, for his abilities, he has the same powers as Peter Parker. He has mechanical spider arms like the Iron Spider suit, and he got Spider Bots for the patrol of New York City while he deals with his personal life. And also, he got a combined mind of Doc Ock and Peter Parker. Alright, this is my summary and all the things I had to say about Superior Spider-Man. If you like what I had to say, make sure you leave a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to be making more of these videos and making a series of it. And tell me in the comments down below what you think of Superior Spider-Man. Is he your favorite Spider-Man or is the Amazing Spider-Man your favorite Spider-Man? Or who is your, who is your favorite Spider-Man? And I'll see you guys later. Peace.